all right everyone welcome back to a brand new video in this video we're going to go ahead and explore user commands i'm going to talk about what it is and i'm going to teach you how you can uh, register user commands so user commands are another form of application commands and basically what happens is when you right click on a user on your server it's going to show you this apps and it's basically just a list of commands that you have registered that you can execute on the user itself so let's say for example if you have some commands that you don't necessarily want to be a text-based slash command and you think that it would make more sense to just make it a user command so if you were to right click on a user it should go ahead and show you an additional option that you could perform on the user right uh, one good thing that comes to mind is creating a report system right for example if i were to right click on the user i can go ahead and click report and that would uh, you know report the user and we would obviously have to implement our logic on our own but hopefully you get the basic idea it's similar to how you can see over here if i hover on roles i can see all the roles that are possible to select but just think of it as if you see the app section and it shows you all of the possible user commands that are listed and the discord docs itself shows you an example right over here okay um but yeah that's just pretty much it Let, let's go ahead and actually write some code to actually uh register a user command so to register a user command, it's actually really easy. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our code. So this is the same exact code that I'm using for all of the other Discord JS tutorials. And what I'm going to do is instead of just creating like a separate file, just for the sake of demonstration, I'll just add an object inside this array. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, pass in two properties. So uh, what we're going to do is we're pass what we're going to pass in the name property, and it's just the name of your uh, this is just the name of the command. So we'll create a simple wave command. So this will just like, you know, wave to the user and say hi. And we have to pass type of two. So you can see that our bot is now online. And let's go over to Discord. And if I, now if I were to right click on any single user, the context menu appears, but I also see this apps uh, section over here. And I see the, uh, the user command that I just registered. If I want to register another one, I would do the same exact thing. Let's do something like, uh, let's do a report command. Let's save. And let's just wait for the bot to restart. Or not restart. I don't think we have to wait for the bot, but we can see that it should pop up over here. Or maybe it didn't finish registering yet. All right, so our bot has logged in. And if I right click and select apps, you can see that I have report and wave. And you can have up to five user commands uh per five global user commands and likewise with guild commands it can it can only be up to max of five okay same thing with message commands too which that's something that i'll talk about in the next video but let's go ahead and actually uh let's go ahead and actually do something with this so we have our wave and report command and what we'll do is we'll handle it whenever the user interacts with one of these commands so the way we do this is we first obviously need to make sure we are listening to the interaction create event, which we already are, okay? Because whenever you uh, interact with that command, it will fire this event over here. Okay, so now, uh, similar to the other types of interactions, right? Uh, the user command is its own specific interaction. So we have this if condition over here. If interaction is chat input command, that means if it's a slash command, right? A chat input command. Then we'll execute the code for the correct slash command. Otherwise, if it's a select menu, we'll do something with that. If it's a modal, we'll do something with that. But if it's a user command, how do we make sure that it's an actual user command? Well, let's go ahead and write an else if condition. So this is just an else if. It continues on from the main if condition, right? It just continues down there. So if... And then we have else if select menu else if interaction that type is a modal submit type and then else if interaction dot is user context menu command okay so you might be confused uh what exactly is this method well basically uh this this rectangle is called a context menu right it's actually uh whenever you right click on the browser right it'll show you like a menu of actions that you can do so for example if you use chrome and if you right click on something uh, sometimes it'll have stuff like translate this page search go to this link if it's a link it will say go to this link right 
that's exactly what the context menu is, right? And with Discord, when you right click, this is the context menu. Okay, so we're going to use this is user context menu command. Now, keep in mind that there's also the uh, is message context menu command. This is for message. Uh, this is for message commands. Okay, and there's also the is context menu command. I think you should not use this one because I think if you use this one, it won't know if it's a message context menu or a user context menu unless if you check, I believe, the type of interaction. But because we already have is user context menu command, uh, we can just use this function. So is user context menu command. So if this is true, that means we know that the user executed a context menu command. And the interaction itself is obviously going to have properties, right? And you might wonder, well, what properties does it have uh, that could help us determine what command the user executed? So for example, if I were to log the interaction, and let's go ahead and interact with uh, one of our users. Let's do report, and we'll do one for, let's do report first. You can see right over here, if we look from the top down, we have the user context menu command interaction type. Uh, there's a bunch of obvious properties like the ID, application ID, guild ID, etc. We have the user, so this is the person that actually interacted with the user command. Same thing with the member, right? Um, and we have the command name right over here. Okay, so if you wanted to check to see what the command was executed or which command was selected, you would just check the command name. Okay, so that's what we could do, right? We can simply write in if else case, so if, or you can use a switch case, but we'll do interaction command name is equal to report. We could do something. And if it's, uh, what was the other one, wave? We could do something else. Okay. So let's just do this. We'll just send some basic replies. So what we'll do is if the user uses the report command, we'll go ahead and just say interaction.reply. And now I want to actually make it so that it pings the actual user that we clicked on for the command. And if you want to get the actual uh, member object, you would just simply reference the interaction dot target member property right over here. This will give you the actual uh, user that the command was executed on. Okay. And uh, what we could do is I can go ahead and just reply and I can say, you reported, and I'll just uh, use string interpolation to interpolate the interaction dot target member object, because what this will do is it will actually just ping the user, okay? And I'll do the same thing with the wave command too. We'll do the same exact thing. You waved to interaction dot target member, and uh, I'll also just log the interaction or wave as well, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead, or actually, whoops, let me log target member. Let me do both, actually, because I really want to see both the interaction and target member. This is actually useful useful for debugging purposes anyways, but okay. Um, okay, cool. So let's go ahead and wait for our bot to restart. And then we can see how we are handling our context menu, or our user command, I should say. All right, so the bot is online. Let's go to Discord. So I'll go ahead and right click here on this user and we'll do report. And you can say it says you reported Anson. Let's do right click wave. You wave to hello world bot. Let's do this one. Uh, and let's just do this one. So it works, right? And let's look at the logs. You can pay attention to the logs to see if there's anything specific that you might need. But we have the target member and then we have the actual interaction that's being logged up over here. So that is pretty much it. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found this informative and I will see you all in the next episode. Peace out.